welcome to the rock show. Today I we're going to uh, do something on magnetite and lodestone. So here's two pieces of magnetite in a box right here. So if you, you if you have like a rock that sort of looks like this, uh, you could grab a magnet, but don't use this magnet because it obviously doesn't work. But a magnet like this does. So both of these pieces of magnetite. And so I don't have lodestone, but all I, all I have is magnetite. That's all. A uh, lodestone can pick up pieces of iron that is that are not m magnetized. Lodestone is one of the most valuable iron ores. So, uh, actually, a type of ma magnetite is lodestone and lodestone is polari polarized even though I don't really know what it means but you guys could look it up so if you take a close look at this you could see it I think right here if you could see that right there, it has a bit of iron in it. And this one too, right here. So, it's iron and magnetite mixed together. And there is magnetite sand, even though I don't have some. Which sucks. Three, two, one, go. So, this uh, book is called the Crystal Bible. It's a really good book if you're into rocks. It teaches you all the healing stuff. So let me look in the notes. If you ever need to be healed uh, by magnetite, it says magnetite provides the healing en energy necessary for recovery. It is beneficial. You know, Yeah. Oh, you. There's a lot, a lot of iron in this, I think. So, this rock is pretty cool. Another book you could also do is First Field Guide Rocks and Minerals or Eyewitness Books for rocks and minerals and stuff. If you're like gonna heal, if you wanna heal, then play the, place it on the back of the neck or the base of the spine or aching joints. Uh, put it at the end of the bed to, to end night cramps too. So yeah. That's what you basically gotta do. The next rock show is going to be on Emerald. So stay tuned. Other one not going to tell you my real name or reveal my face. Ever. Never.